Henderson Mann's five-year search for his true identity and his true birth family has produced exhilarating but troubling results. Paul Franzak's tumultuous tale was first reported by the I-Team four years ago and has since been retold all over the world. Now, along the way, Franzak learned that he had a twin sister, but like his namesake, she too disappeared. Well, the I-Team's George Knapp shows us the progress Franzak has made and the deeper mystery he's now facing. Gliding across a backyard in Atlantic City, a ground-penetrating radar unit searches for clues. Paul Franzak, a.k.a. Jack Rosenthal, is searching the property where his birth parents once lived, looking for his twin sister, Jill. I had a radar sweep of the property done because I, I feel something happened to Jill, and if something happened, from what I've gathered from the family, they might have just buried her on the property. The radar indicated three areas of interest, and Paul grabbed a shovel to see what might be hidden. We got down about six feet, water was starting to come up from the ocean, and we found bones. The bones were not human, so the search for Jill continues. The reasons for Franzak's dark suspicions are laid out in a new book about his journey over the last five years. It's called The Foundling. As a youngster, he was found on a sidewalk in Newark, New Jersey. Authorities had no idea how he got there or who he was. A year or so later, he was adopted by Chester and Dora Franzak of Chicago, whose one-day-old son, Paul, had been kidnapped from a hospital. Despite a massive search at the time, neither the baby nor the nurse who kidnapped him were ever located. After our news reports in 2013 about Paul Franzak's DNA tests, which prove he is not the missing baby, the FBI officially reopened the case. But Paul says agents have done nothing since then. One of the original agents who worked the case has told him the lawman knew in 1964 that the boy found in New Jersey wasn't the real Paul, but allowed the heartbroken Franzaks to adopt him anyway. But he even said back then that they were pretty sure I wasn't the kidnapped baby, but they wanted to close the story. Paul's life with the Franzaks was much different than what he may have faced if he remained with his now deceased birth parents, Gilbert and Marie Rosenthal. Since reconnecting with his blood relatives in the last year or so, he's learned that the Rosenthals were abusive drunks. This is the only known photo of his mother, pregnant at the time with Jack and Jill. All known photos of the twins were ripped out of family albums years ago. I've heard stories from relatives that I've actually met now he actually kept me and my sister in a cage, in a dark room. You and your twin sister in a cage? In a cage, in a dark room. We were screaming our heads off. Just abuse, just major abuse. They weren't nice people. At some point, the twins vanished. Half the family was told the kids were being cared for by the other half, and vice versa. Someone dropped Paul off in Newark, and there's no trace of Jill at all. A birth certificate proves she existed. A newspaper even reported the happy births of the twins. I really think something bad happened to Jill, and they got rid of me to cover it up, instead of trying to explain one twin. Paul knows he lucked out and is now blessed with two families, but he isn't giving up in his search for the real Paul. An age progression drawing of his possible likeness is still being circulated. Paul plans to do something similar for his sister Jill, using a photo of their mother as the base. The book was written in part because of the many people who reached out to Paul during his search for himself. I've come across thousands and thousands of people who don't know who they are, don't know where to start, don't know what to do. And I basically am saying, don't live a lie. You've got to know why you are the way you are and who you are. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Hmm. Paul Franzak says he plans to keep the name he grew up with and is happy to report that his adoptive parents are no longer estranged from him. His book, The Founding, is available online, and he's holding his first book signing event tomorrow. We have details on our website along with links to our previous reports.